Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a brother that is uh, Veni Shabi. I am sorry if I cannot pronounce uh, the name correctly. The question is like this. Uh, given the production function uh, y is equal to 6 plus 10x minus 2x square, we are being given this very production function where y is the output and x is the input. So we have only single input here. We have to calculate marginal physical product average physical product uh, we have to calculate the output and marginal value product given the value of input is equal to 2 price of uh, the input is 4 and price of our output is 5 okay so let us see how do we calculate these very things here first of all let us uh, concentrate on this marginal physical product okay how do we calculate marginal physical product it is simply let us say we have the production function that is y is equal to 6 plus 10x minus 2x square okay this is our total product also okay now marginal physical product marginal physical product is simply uh, the derivative of total product uh, with respect to input it tells us how much our um, how much our total product changes when we change the input by one unit okay so this is simply dy upon dx that means differentiating our total product total physical product with respect to input gives us marginal physical product so the derivative of constant is always zero derivative of x is here one so we are left with 10 minus the derivative of x square is 2x by power function rule so 2 into 2 is 4 and this exponent is subtracted by 1 so this is 2 minus 1 is 1 so we are left with x only now we have to calculate marginal uh, physical product when x is equal to 2 okay when x is equal to 2 what is our marginal physical product it is simply we just plug uh, x is equal to 2 in our marginal physical product function so we have 10 minus 4 into 2 which comes out to be uh, 10 minus 8 which means our marginal physical product will be equal to 2 okay so this is the value of marginal physical product okay after that we are being told to find the average physical product now what is average physical product average physical product is simply our total product that is total product upon the input okay that is x so just dividing this total product with respect uh, with x gives us average physical product that is 10x minus sorry 6 plus i am sorry for the mistake we have first the 6 uh, plus 10x minus 2x square and we divide it by x to get the average physical product so our average physical product will be equal to 6 upon x 6 upon x uh, plus here x and x will get cancelled we are left with 10 minus here this x and here one x will get cancelled we are left with 2x okay this is our average physical product now what is the average physical product when input uh, user is two units so this will be equal to just plug x is equal to 2 in our average physical product that is 6 upon in place of x we have 2 uh, plus 10 minus 2 into 2 when we solve this will come out to be 6 upon 2 is 3 uh, plus 10 minus 4 and this is uh, 10 plus 3 is 13 minus 4 comes out to be 9 so our average physical product when x is equal to 2 it comes out to be 9 okay now the question tells us to find the output okay total output we have to find when our unit uh, when the value of x is 4 so it is very simple this is our output these are the inputs we use in uh, producing the output now since y is equal to 6 plus 10 x minus 2 x square okay now this y y is our output so i will write here output is equal to output when two units of inputs are used will be equal to we just need to plug two in this uh, 
total product function to get the output so we have 6 plus 10 in place of x we have 2 i will write here 2 minus 2 in place of x we have 2 square so this comes out to be 6 plus 20 minus 2 to the 4 to the uh, 2 to the 4 to the 8 so this comes out to be 20 plus 6 is 26 is 26 minus 8 now what is 26 minus 8 so this is 16 minus 8 is 8 so we are left with 18 so our y when x is equal to 2 is equal to 8 so total 18 sorry so this is our total output now coming to the next uh, part that is finding the marginal value product now what is the marginal value product marginal value product what we also called the marginal revenue product we also called it marginal uh, revenue product sorry marginal revenue product it is simply uh, equal to change in our total revenue when uh, one more unit of output is produced okay that is the concept of marginal value product for that we need to find the total revenue so marginal uh, value product is to be found first we need to find the total revenue okay so let us write it here first we need to find the total revenue what is total revenue now total revenue is simply equal to price of output let us say price of y okay times the output okay that is y that means what is the price of output we are being given here a uh, price of output is for you so i will write here for you okay uh, what is total output total output is uh, this very function so i will write 6 plus 10 x minus 2x square okay if i just uh, solve this this is 30 uh, plus 5 tens are 50 x minus uh, 2 fives are 10 so i will write here 10 x square so this is our total revenue okay total revenue now what is marginal value product it is simply the derivative of total revenue with respect to the input that is with respect to x so i will write here with respect to x how much our total revenue changes when the input changes okay so just differentiating this the derivative of 30 is constant since here so it is zero so derivative of x is 50 here sorry the derivative of x is 1 so 50 into 1 is 50 minus the derivative of x square is 2x by power function rule so 10 into 2 is 20 so 20 x now what will be our marginal value product when x is equal to 2 when two units of input are used so just plug x is equal to 2 in this function so we will get marginal product here marginal value product or marginal revenue product so this is 50 minus 20 into the value of x is 2 so we get uh, 50 uh, minus 20 into 2 is 40 so this gives us 10 as the marginal value product okay i hope i make myself clear in this video um, and i am sure that i have made the things uh, clear here if there are any mistakes in uh, finding the solution i tried by my way if there are mistakes i am just a student of economics in that capacity there could be mistakes in my video uh, in the calculation of MPP, APP or uh, MVP. So if there are mistakes in my method, you can point out, point out those very mistakes. I will really appreciate. Thank you.